In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bring our intentions before Jesus this morning. We offer our lives to him once more. And we pray for our needs and the needs of the whole world. In a humble way, once more, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the officials had brought the apostles in to face the Sanhedrin, the high priest demanded an explanation. We gave you a formal warning, he said, not to preach in this name, and what have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seem determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. In reply, Peter and the apostles said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to men. It was the God of our ancestors who raised up Jesus, but it was you who had him executed by hanging on a tree. By his own right hand, God has now raised him up to be leader and saviour, to give repentance and forgiveness of sins through him to Israel. We are all witnesses to all this, we and the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. This so infuriated them that they wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. The, the Lord hears the cry of the, of the poor. poor. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears to their appeal. They call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord, the Lord hears the, the cry of the, of the poor. poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Our Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist said to his disciples, he who comes from above is above all others. He who is born of the earth and 
is earthly himself and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bears witness to the things he has seen and heard, even if his testimony is not accepted. Though all who do accept his testimony are attesting to the truthfulness of God, since he whom God has sent speaks God's own words, God gives him the Spirit without reserve. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to him. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, but anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life. The anger of God stays on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. According with the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, how, how can we be sure which of our convictions come from God and should be followed whatever the cost. To follow him and speak in his name, we must be radical and willing to walk the way of the cross with him. It's clear that the ruling council of the Jews accused the apostles of two things at that time. The first one, they had continued to preach in that name. They didn't even mention the name of Jesus. They are preaching in Jesus' name all over Jerusalem, even though they have been strictly forbidden to do so. And the second thing is they were blaming the Jewish leadership for Jesus' death. We testify, and so does the Holy Spirit said St. Peter, then that suggests that we need the Holy Spirit's guidance through personal prayer before we can really bear witness to Christ. And in conflict uh, situations and in, in, in our spiritual journey, uh, we can also check out our ideas with our spiritual director, for example, because it is good to have someone who will tell us and who will help us to, the plain, to find the plain truth and help us distinguish between courage or mere obstinacy. Prayer and spiritual guidance help to free us from our obsessions and our comfort zones. We need this kind of listening for a genuine and integrated spirituality. We need guidance both from the tradition and the Holy Spirit. Then our words, like those of the early Christians, the apostles and the early Christians, will bear authentic witness and can help to bring others to a fuller faith, to a fuller encounter with Jesus Christ. Our gospel today says that Jesus comes down from above and that the Father has entrusted everything to him. None of those things apply to John the Baptist. John recognized the uniqueness of Jesus. Which is why he could say he must increase but I must decrease. John was very clear. Like, the John, like John the Baptist, we cannot, be, uh, we cannot fully appreciate the mystery of Jesus. The closer, the closer we come to him, the more we know how much we need to grow. We cannot fully appreciate the mystery of Jesus. It's a beautiful and long journey. We too can say, he must increase, I must decrease. As his presence increases in us and our, our beings welcomes him, we don't cease to be ourselves. The more he grows in us, the more we fulfill our potential and become all that God wants us to be. Let us continue with the Holy Mass, with trust and confidence, praying to the Lord with the prayers of intercession. Let us pray that the church 
through its leaders, may take up with courage the challenge of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the state may be committed in its effort to bring quality service to, the, to everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all who are struck with this pandemic may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your only Son took on human life in order to share your divine life with us. Grant us faith to believe firmly in him so that we may always live responsibly as your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Yes, we go forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through to the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the goodness of his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. In this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <clears throat> holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, and giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be couriers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now from you. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this, of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go, in, go in peace, the mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.